the body is the vehicle that the soul used to experience the earth realm, but the soul ain't the body. Just like you ain't your car. That's what the concept of the body was to Plato. Plato said that basically the people who live in this world, they can see the beautiful in this world and they can see the things that participate in the beauty of this world. And he goes on to say, and doesn't believe that the participants are it or that it itself is the participant. And then he says, is he living in a dream or is he awake? And the answer was, he's very much awake. Why is he awake? Because this person can enjoy the beauty of the world. They can see the beauty in the world and the things that participate in it, but they don't believe that the observer is the body. The one that's having the experience in the body is not the body itself is what Plato is saying. And once somebody know that, the body is just a vehicle they're using for the soul to have an experience in this realm. Plato is acknowledging the fact that that person is very much awake and he's separating them from the other one because the other person is the person that think that a likeness is not a likeness, but rather the thing itself that it is like. So Plato was distinguishing between that type of person and a person that separates the true self from the likeness, which is the body, and the true reality from the world, which is an echo or reflection. Book six of the Republic identifies the highest form as the form of the good, the cause of all other ideas, and that on which the being and knowing of all other forms is contingent. Conceptions derived from the impressions of sense can never give us the knowledge of true being, of the forms. It can only be obtained by the soul's activity within itself. Apart from the troubles and disturbances of sense, that is to say, by the exercise of reason, dialectic as the instrument in this process leading us to knowledge of the forms, and finally, to the highest form of the good is the first of sciences. Platonism had a profound effect on Western thought. In many interpretations of the Timaeus, Platonism, like Aristotelianism, poses an eternal universe as opposed to the nearby Judaic tradition that the universe had been created in historical time with its continuous history recorded. Unlike Aristotelianism, Platonism describes idea as prior to matter and identifies the person with the soul. Stop right there, that is very powerful. In Platonism, Plato identifies the person with their soul and not their body. That's exactly what I've been saying. You can see influences of Platonism in Christianity and Western thought. Because even in certain forms of Christianity, they still maintain the idea that we are not our bodies. When the Bible say that the body is of sin and that the body is filthy and all that, that's Platonism. When the Bible says greater than he that is in me than he that is in the world, that's Platonism. Greater is my soul than my body. Greater is the spirit that dwells in me than the body that contains the spirit. And that's just another way of saying mind over matter, the spiritual realm over the material realm. Plato also describes idea as prior to matter, meaning that everything in the material realm only exists because it first existed in the spiritual realm and that everything in the physical realm or imperfect realm that's under time and the elements, those things are just copies, meaning they come second. But the origin of all things is idea or thought. And that is true. Everything starts with thought or idea before it manifests in the material world. Idea is what shapes matter. And that is a form of Platonism. 